many idiots from the West, from America, you will see those stupid kids in the state who they are the fruits of the liberals. You know, liberalism is a kind of a ratism, will make you a rat. Rats are kind of a creatures. They're programmed. Their motive is a food, you know, it's not like they, they might come to your field, they eat your crops and they damage it, but they don't mean to harm. They mean to eat. And liberals, they think that they are doing the right thing, but in fact they are, they are, they become the most harmful tool in the hand of the terrorist. How many times we heard them speaking about Israeli hitting hospitals, it's a war crime, and every scumbag. Just to let you know, in the case of war, if anyone use any facility, it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter. For war, then the other side, it doesn't matter which side, has the right to deal with it by shelling, bombing, shooting, whatever. It's a war. Even in the garbage of Muhammad, it says in their books, as an example, Muhammad, he commanded the Muslims to use manjaniq. Manjaniq, I don't know what the name in English, it's like, you know, they put the rock with the long rope and they pull it down. I, I think you know what I'm talking about. Big one, they throw it at the, at the city. So when they question about this, they said, well, so what? You know, we cannot, we have to kill them. The rocks fail everywhere. I mean, you know the rocks. They are not like a bomb, smart bomb, know exactly where it's going. You throw the rocks, you don't know where it's going. All what you know is going to go behind the wall of the town. And this is what Muhammad, he did. And Muslims always justify anything except killing them. They justify taking all the land of the Christians of Greece. So now Turkey, there's no Turkey. None of the land it's called Turkey is Turkey. And then you will see Erdogan speaking about what? About occupation, against occupation. When he right now, as we speak, occupying more than 80% of Greece, if you calculate all the land he took it from before. And then Cyprus, which is not long time ago, and now, just a few years ago, they took half of Syria. In fact, even before, half of Syria already is taken. So now they take more than 80% of Syria. And then they school you about occupation and human rights. When this guy, he have hundreds of thousands in jail inside Turkey just for speaking against him. But he is the one who can tell you about human rights. And this is the case for every Muslim. They speak too much about a human right, but they have zero human right and they believe in zero. Just say one word against Muhammad, they will say, behead those who insult the Prophet. They make lecture about the freedom of speech, but you cannot have a freedom of speech against us or against our Prophet. Freedom of speech, it counts only against the Jews, against the Christians, against the Hindus, against the Buddhists, but not against us. You speak against us, we kill you. But listen, you, Abdul, you cannot tell us what to do, and your terrorists will be under our shoes. And they are, literally. If you think you have a power, you don't. We do. And you will pay, and you will harvest your seed. Here we see in the screen a video recorded from the hospital of a Shifa. You know, most actually, most of the hospital uh, uh, like uh, cameras, as we saw in the previous videos, they've been destroyed or taken off. So obviously Hamas, they took all the cameras from sensitive areas, but by mistake, they are coming in this direction where it's not supposed to be maybe. And they are recorded and those two hostages, one from Nepal and one from Thailand. And here you ask yourself a very simple question. Why they are taking poor farmers? They are not even Israeli. They are very, you know what poor mean? 
they are literally very poor. A person he will come to different country to work as a farmer, he must be very, very poor. Why you want to take those as hostages? Unless you are a scumbag. They say to you, they are doing this because the Israeli oppressing them. In fact, it is them they are oppressing Israeli. Every day they kidnap, they kill, they rape. We never heard of one Israeli soldier raping one Muslim woman. Never. But we heard tens of thousands of stories about Muslim raping women. They rape even their own women. But why in the world they are taking a hostages who is from Thailand or from the poor country of Nepal? Because simply they are scumbags. Hostages mean money. Hostages mean control. Hostages mean I can make you go down to your knee. You want your son? Do you want your daughter? Pay me. Do this to me. This is how filthy low class they are. And then they school you about we are people of morality and we are people who have ethic. When reality they have zero ethic. Their prophet himself, he kidnapped people for money, ransom. So why they will not do it? Let us watch this video here and you leave your comment about what you see. Let us go. An update on our hostage rescue effort. The sensitive information that I will be revealing now was shared with the Marciano family this morning. 19-year-old IDF Corporal Noah Marciano was taken hostage by Hamas terrorists during the massacre of October 7th. Noah was taken into Gaza alive. She was held hostage by Hamas in Gaza City next to the Shifa hospital. During ongoing combat in the vicinity of where she was held captive, Noah Hamas kept her was killed and Noah was injured. I repeat, she was only injured. An independent pathological report has determined Noah's injuries were not life-threatening. I repeat, Noah's injuries were not life-threatening. What happened to Noah? The world should ask what happened to Noah. According to the intelligence we have in our hand, a concrete, concrete intelligence, Hamas terrorists took Noah into Shifa Hospital, where she was murdered quickly. Hamas murdered Noah inside Shifa Hospital. Our thoughts are with, the Noah's, with Noah's family. We send our heartfelt condolences to the family. We did not reach Noah in time. This is only make the IDF more determined to do everything, everything in our power to bring all our hostages home. We've also gathered more intelligence from the hospital proving that Noah Marciano was not the only hostage taken by Hamas into Shifa Hospital. I will now share concrete evidence of hostages. One from Nepal, one from Thailand, taken from Israel during the Hamas massacre on October 7th. After ruthlessly massacring and taking people hostage, the terrorists fled to Shifa Hospital. They went to the hospital to hide. Here you can see Hamas terrorists drove back from the massacre. This is an Israeli military jeep they brought into the hospital. I want to repeat and just to make everybody understand. They're bringing an Israeli jeep, a military jeep, into the hospital compound, a place Terrorists should not enter. They're entering with a military jeep. This is 1050. One of the Toyotas 
that used Hamas in the 7th of October are bringing hostages into the hospital. We have found this Toyota, a different one, with all the gear, a Nuchbe Toyota, hidden in a garage inside the hospital. She was ready to go to the 7th of October massacre, like other Toyotas going back into the hospital, using the hospital as a terror base. Another Jeep, another Israeli vehicle, military vehicle, entering into the Shifa hospital, using the Shifa hospital as a human shield shelter to Hamas terrorists, bringing military equipment to the vicinity of the hospital. Click. This is 7th of October, 10.55 a.m. The evidence I will share was sent by Israel to diplomatic channels to the countries of those civilians. Here you can see Hamas taking a hostage inside the vicinity. He doesn't look even, he even doesn't look, need, to, need a treatment, but they're taking him inside the hospital. I will now share this video that shows the same hostage entering into the hospital with a gunman, terrorist inside the hospital. This is the main entrance of the hospital. Click. This is at 10.55 a.m. They're entering another hostage Gunmen are entering another hostage from those countries I mentioned into the vicinity. The terrorists are guarding the room. We have not yet located both of these hostages and rescued them. We have not yet located them. We do not know where they are. There are still hostages we need to rescue. The Israel Defense Forces, the world must remember, Hamas is holding the elderly, men, women, children, babies, babies, hostage. If you remember this picture, and from the day of October 7, this is the women they put her in the motorcycle and they took her. If you look in the Arabic and the mojo, there's a smile, there's a happiness. The Arabic says, our young men, they did what is required in a funny way, which means they were, they were rape her. Bilwajib, which means they will do everything is needed to her. And now this poor woman who is not captured during duty. She is a soldier, yes. Serving in the army of the Israeli, yes. But she was not armed. She was not in the uniform. And she was in the music festival. What they did to her? They executed the women. And then still you will find a scumbag who live in New York who have no idea what is going on in the world, he said to you, free Palestine. I want to ask those people, why the Jews don't go right now and kidnap all those young girls and rape them? A return of the favor. You see, it says in Arabic, Bilwajib, it means favor. We will, we will do something to them. We will do the duty to them. Why the Israeli army is not raping children as Hamas and those so-called Palestinians did? Is that because the Israeli army is weak and they don't have penises? Excuse my language. You people who defend those trash, you must be a piece of shit yourself. I cannot describe you better. And those who they are convinced 
that those are the one who own the land. You are stupid to the bones. Even in their stupid book in the Quran, chapter 5, verse number 21, it says that this is a land assigned to the Jews by so-called Allah. Allah himself, he assigned the land to the Jews. And not only that, Allah, he commanded them to kill every Palestinian in the same chapter. Read it from verse number 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, if you know how to read. But how a donkey like you will be able to read? You can read only what you like to read. Because you are full of hatred and stupidity. Because when you went to school, you learned how to be stupid, not how to be smart. Your teachers are idiot like you. And you become the dumb, dumbest person ever who is used by terrorists to support them. You will notice each time Hamas do something and the Israeli respond. The real war is not really there. The real war is in New York and San Francisco. And you know, this is where those filthy, stupid people go crazy. They are mentally ill. And we need to find the medicine. And the medicine is schools, teachers should be fired if they teach them false information. It doesn't matter what it is. Yesterday, after I finished my uh, broadcast, I saw a comment in the chat, but it was too late. I am done already. A person, he says, is the crusades allowed to do sins and crimes? So this is a filthy man. He is coming to remind you of the crusade, but they don't ask themselves why the crusade even exists. 600 years after Jesus, the first time a crusade, actually more than 600 years, why did it not exist in the time of the Christians when they have a king? Why did they not have a crusade? The crusade was a re respond, a reaction for the invasion. The Muslims came to Jerusalem. It's not the opposite. So if the crusade fight the Muslims, the crusade are bad. This is what they call them. This is what they teach them in Berkeley and all this kind of uh, filthy universities. The crusade are ugly, the crusade are bad, the crusade is disgusting. But in the fact, if not the crusade, none of them have a freedom of speech and they will be today slaves of those cowards. It is the crusade who saved you. If you have a freedom today in Europe, it's because of the crusade. But this is what they told them, the crusades are criminals. They made tons of movies against the crusade. And the crusade are not here to defend the crusade. But the money of the Muslims is here to make the crusade look ugly. And now it's the same. The money machine of Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Emirat is flooding the market. And there's a lot of pins. They call themselves journalists. But in fact, they don't practice journalism. They practice vandalism. So it's your duty to help us to expose those liars. Don't be just a person who watch and say, hey, you are right. Do something. Write something. Produce something. Why the Muslim can make videos, you cannot make a video. Why I can make a video, you cannot make a video. Why I have a mouth, you don't have a mouth. Who muted you? You muted yourself. You know, yesterday when we went live, we finished our live stream by what? By saying what the Lord said. Go and sin no more. But do you know that the Bible confirmed that the one who witness a, witness a crime and he don't do something to stop the crime, it's a big sin? So when you mute yourself, you are partner in the crime. So if you believe in what the Lord says, go and sin no more. Don't commit the sin of being a mute, coward, who is just afraid 
of the reaction of what you will see. In fact, those cowards, they are in the street because the Christians, they decide to stay home. And the Christians decide to ignore them. And then they change our schools and they change our text and they start saying, we will need to forbid the Bible. There's no Bible in the hotel. There's no cross in the street. There's no duty, etc. And they start demanding things. Why? Because the Christians, who they are, the sleeping giants, are asleep. And that make you a sinner, not a Christian. So I say to you again, go and sin no more. And the first thing you do, you stop unmuting yourself and fighting against this evil. When they recorded this video, they are proud of it. When they posted this video, as you see the comment there, Shababana qamu bil wajib. They did what is right, you know, to kill her. And you know the Israeli army is saying they killed her, but they did not say really what they did to her. What do you think they did to her? Do you think just they killed her? I will not be surprised if she is dead because of rape. But the Israeli army trying not to dishonor their own soldier. Not on the internet not online, not in the media. She have a family. They have enough pain. But I assure you, those evil they did with this woman, what you cannot imagine. And now the Israeli, in order to save their kids, they are negotiating a deal with the terrorist. Five days ceasefire. You might say, well, five days for 50, 60 hostages of kids and women is a good deal. But no, they are going to release criminals, women, and children who they are criminals. You see, they, they say children, but those children they killed Israeli. They are terrorists too. It doesn't matter if he is 13 or 14 years old or he is 19, the age does not change the act. So now they will release for the sake of their hostages, criminals. This is why I don't like Netanyahu. He's too weak. He is too weak to be a war leader. It's a war. Did you ask yourself why Hamas asking for five days ceasefire? There must be something not right. Are they going to dig another tunnel, smuggle more weapon? Are they going to run out of the tunnels to Egypt? Why they are asking for five days? Leave your comment and tell me what you think. And may the Lord bless the soldiers who defend their own lands. And punishing those cowards. God is good. And may the Lord justice prevail. Thank you.